I do love traveling around. I grew up in Kentucky, and uh, boy, grew up tobacco farming with all my crazy uncles on the farm growing up. I know y'all probably got crazy uncles, right? Some of y'all probably are the crazy uncle in the family. <laughs> we got my uncle Chuck. He's awesome. He's 89 years old, 50% Irish and 50% Italian. That's a combo. Very pale and pasty white and angry and hairy all at the same time. <laughs> Looks like a marshmallow's been kicked around on the barbershop floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not the guy you want to take to the beach in Speedos, we found out. <laughs> yeah. He scared shrimp away, and they've got tiny eyeballs. <laughs> That's my Uncle Chuck. Tore up from the floor up, Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> He's always been torn up. Even when I was a kid, it was, he was fascinating. He had a glass eye, a toupee, and false teeth. I'm like, that's not an uncle. That's Mr. Potato Head right there. <laughs> Take his eyeball out. <laughs> he's still got the glass eyeball, uh, but he's had like this, he had the same one for a long time, like 30-something years. Kind of let the maintenance slide, if you ask me on it. Started getting a little mossy on the north side. Y'all know what I'm saying? It's kind of like... But he didn't know any better. So we finally, last Thanksgiving, we were hanging out. We said, do you mind if we get you a new glass eye? He's like, you're the one that's got to look at it. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so we got his hooks up. Then we started looking for them, and they're a little pricey. We had to get on eBay and look for a gently used one that we could all pitch in on. <laughs> you ever Google a glass eyeball on eBay? <laughs> they got them. They had a BOGO special on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I didn't even know what a BOGO was, but they have a lot of them on Thanksgiving, sure enough. So we got him a regular one for day-to-day -day use, and then for the weekends, we got him a magic eight ball glass eye. <laughs> he loves it. Sometimes it's confusing. He's shaking his head no, but he's saying, ask again later. <laughs> the answer is hazy. <laughs> he's a great guy. Yeah, he, uh, he gives me his CDs and stuff to listen to, and I, I love it when I'm driving. This is a beautiful country out here. I got to be totally honest. Y'all know that. Some places I drive nothing. To, I got to drive across Kansas last summer. Oh, survivors, anybody tried that trip? <laughs> I knew it was going to be flat. I didn't know you had to bring your own people. I had no idea. <laughs> it's a BYOP state, the whole cross. I didn't know. That tornado from the Wizard of Oz took everything with it, I reckon. <laughs> I'm driving across. What I also did not know is the highway patrol has to be extra sneaky in Kansas because they have nothing to hide behind, right? <laughs> they got to drive Mustangs or Trans Ams or Camaros. And sometimes they're pulling a bass boat, and that's just cheating. I had no idea. <laughs> but if they don't drive something like that, you could spot them six or seven hours away. So you got to <laughs> be careful. But you've been there, you know. So I'm driving. I mean, what I call my Dave Ramsey truck. Y'all remember Dave Ramsey? He says, drive it till it blows up. I was close. 1996, three out of four cylinder, a Suzu pickup with a camper top on back. That's a woman getter right there, ain't it? I'm trying to catch up to that guy. It takes about 30 minutes. Then he started slowing down. Then he speed up. Then he'd slow down. Then he started switching lanes and kicking up gravel. I'm like, that guy has fallen asleep behind the wheel or something. I should try to get his attention and see if he's okay. Oh, you ever been so stupid you pulled the cops over? Anybody else? <laughs> There's a lot of paperwork in that one. I don't even know how to pull anybody over, so I just start flipping my one good high beam at him for a little while. Roll down the window. I'm like, boo! That's pretty good, ain't it? I've been practicing. I must have swallowed 13 skeeters before he pulled over. Big old Kansas skeeters. They could have stood on their tippy toes and pistol whipped a chicken. They were big skaters. Got the West Nile hanging right off. But the guy pulls over. I'm like, game on. I pull over behind him and wait for him to get out. He doesn't get out. I'm like, he maybe he's injured or something. I hop out of my truck, walk up to his window. 
I just start pounding on his window. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's been loading the revolver on the other side. <laughs> then he cracks the window and I see he's an officer. I got zero game plan. <laughs> but I start thinking maybe I should arrest him before he arrests me. <laughs> he was reckless driving for sure. But I don't know how to arrest anybody. All I know is from watching the Andy Griffith show my entire life. <laughs> like Barney Fife, I just walk up there, I'm like, hey! get out of the vehicle there, buddy. <laughs> you just keep on getting out, don't you? <laughs> Want to know why I pulled you over? Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh. Hey, did you know that Drybar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips and watch my whole special.